I've heard people say that video games get worse as time goes on. I don't know if they mean the old ones are better than new ones, or if the old ones used to be good but got worse as time went on. I guess that today we'll find out, as we travel back to the dawn of computer games as we know them. There's a bit of confusion as to where it all began. Being a deep researcher, I loaded up Wikipedia and searched for first video game. Although there had been things released that could arguably be called video games, they were either so basic or so obscure that I've decided to forget about them and to start with 1972, aka the birth of Pong, and decent music. Now, this game has had so many different versions that I couldn't possibly list them all, though James the Angry Video Game Nerd has had a good attempt. See the link to his video in the description. I understand that back then the screen would have been flickery and fishbowl-like, and the control system would probably have been a number of dials. I'm going to cheat and use the version that's available over at ponggame.org. Link is, once again, in the description. There are three difficulty modes, beginner, intermediate and expert, which I assumed would be totally impossible since back then people would only have this one game to play for months on end. This is how I fared. Beginner was… basic. The enemy had instant reflexes, but a slow maximum travel speed. Immediately it became apparent that the goal was to hit the blob as near to the edge of my paddle as possible, as this would cause it to fly across the screen at the steepest angle. I like this, it adds an addictive, gambling game mechanic where you have to trade risk versus reward, a staple of good video games ever since. With beginner out of the way, I started on intermediate. Oh, oh come on, I had lag! Uh, probably not the best excuse since my PC today is far more powerful than all of the video game consoles in the 70s combined but it'll have to do. I managed to fight my way back and beat Intermediate in a very close match. Time for Expert. This is the one I have been fearing. Fortunately for me, it didn't appear too challenging and would still lose to a well-placed shot, though it did seem to be based a bit on luck. It's made more difficult that the ball goes flying towards you the moment you start the game. It would have been a lot better if you had to press a button, but I guess they weren't invented until the second generation of consoles or something. Let's make this look more exciting, frag video style. And there you go, Pong has been defeated. I have to say, it's aged wonderfully. I'm sure that it will still be enjoyed for generations to come. Join me next week where I skip forward several years to avoid the pongiest part of video game history. Goodbye!